Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create the multicolored fog which can be used to achieve results close to, for instance, Firewatch. So let's get started. So we will start with material functions. As some of you know that I don't prefer using nasty spaghetti code inside my blueprints or materials. So the first one is the blend color post process material function. Here you can see I use simple lerp between the post process input, it's the overall final color of your scene, and I lerp it with the color which will colorize our particular mask in the scene with its color and we use alpha channel so it will control the transparency of the overall color effect. Next, I have two functions, mask by depth and mask by distance. You can choose wherever you want, they do pretty much the same, I just show you the two different ways how to achieve the proper mask. So, as for mask by depth, we just use thin depths and divide it by the proper scalar input. Then we saturate it to have the gradient from 0 to 1 and that's actually all. As for mask by distance, I use distance for absolute world position and camera position. Then I divide it by also the scalar, which is called distance, and saturate. So I receive pretty much the same result. Now our post process. Here you can see that's actually the whole post process itself. It's very cheap and very effective. Don't forget to set the blendable location before tone mapping to withdraw the graphical artifact. Now here is the workflow. We have four colors. You can go with any amount of you, with any amount you want. It will work perfectly. Here I use a pen node so the input function vector 4 will be properly set. So this one is RGB, this is alpha. When we append it, we will receive the vector 4. Then we use only one time post process input here and it will result in every iteration. As for B, we go with the result of this computation and as for alpha is mask by depth. And here is simple scalar attribute. Actually you can see each iteration has its own unique settings. Also here is one more addition. It's for adding some sort of stylized bands. So when we multiply some value, it's our overall scene texture by a certain attribute then we seal round or floor it depends on the result you want to achieve and also divided by the same attribute we will receive some sort of bands it's like the gradient with the particular step from black to white once it's done all you need is to add the post process into the post process materials under your post process volume in a scene. Or you can actually go and add it into your character's camera. Once it's done, now you can see the result that I have. And that's how it looks. And with this 
particular settings with this post process, you can try to play around with some different values to achieve different results. Also, as you can see, right now I have the bands set to 1k and if we change it to, for instance, 16, you can see that we have some sort of bands and now our scene looks more stylized like lo-fi. So you actually can go with some different and interesting results. So I guess that's it. I hope you like this quick tutorial and please leave your feedback. As you have noticed, the sound quality is much better due to a new microphone. Well, subscribe, leave your comments, your request, and I'll see you soon.